Aaron, what did you think about both starting pitchers tonight in Jay Happ and Clark Schmidt? Good. Um, I thought first off, Jay, stuff-wise, uh, was solid. Uh, mixed pitches, drove his count up, I thought was, um, you know, in a lot of ways picked up where he left off in spring training. So that was really encouraging to see him come out and, and set a good tone for us. And then Clark, I thought was excellent. You know, he, you know, he, I think he relished the opportunity of facing our guys uh, in Yankee Stadium. Uh, I thought the stuff was sharp. Um, you know, you, you saw just how special of a curveball uh, it is, and I thought he was not only the the quality of the pitch, but but also the ability co commanded. And I thought he did a great job of that tonight. He talked about being aggressive, not backing down to some of those big time hitters. Did that impress you for not having a ton of experience at this level? That he is so confident on the mound. I don't know if it impressed me this time around because it's kind of what of I what I expected. I mean, that's you know that's first off the scouting report and the makeup reports that I heard about him going into spring training. And then he showed that to us while we were down there. He's continued to show it here. So I can't really say I was that surprised. I expect he's, he's a confident kid that when he goes out on the mound, he expects to be good. Just how odd was it playing an intra-squad game in an empty Yankee Stadium? Yeah, it was, it was, it was weird. Um, you know, and but something that is important that we get used to, and um, you know, so th these days are going to be important not only to obviously build our guys up, but but slowly but surely get used to obviously a different environment that we're going to be playing in. Um, I remember um, it, around 9 11, uh, we had an inter squad game, you know, in the middle of September in, in Old Riverfront Stadium, and you know, that kind of brought that back that memory of you know how odd that was so we've we've got to get used to it um and today was the start of that um and uh and i expect us to jake signer go ahead and unmute Aaron, this is the first time you guys got to run something like a game situation just some, with some of the new protocols i'm just curious any Pickups, any learning experiences, anything that surprised you, and you know adjustments you plan to make with regarding those rules going forward. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it's getting used to. Um, you know, I think I think the challenge will be once once you get into an actual game of real competition and the and and the everything that the thinking that goes into every pitch and trying to think ahead, um, but also being mindful, obviously, of 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 the protocols in place and the social distancing and the certain things you're not allowed to do that, that sometimes you do uh, without even thinking about. So that's why, you know, as, as, as important as these games are for everyone to get used to, you know, playing in a different environment, um, obviously getting the reps that are absolutely necessary at this time, time of the year as we get ready for the season, but just, um, you know, also just, getting comfortable uh, in what's a little bit of an uncomfortable situation. Next question from Eric Boland. Eric, go ahead and unmute. Aaron, I'm sure you've probably had that for a few days, but the, the schedule was finally uh, officially released today. What, what was your just general reaction to, uh, to the 60 game schedule and how it, it uh, laid out for you guys? Yeah. Um, well, I knew we were playing the East, <laughs> not leaving the East. So um, I don't know, you know, I, there's a lot of formidable teams, obviously. And when you combine the National League and the American League East, so I, I know it's going to be a tough road. Um, and and I know we also look forward to that challenge um, and look forward to, you know, hopefully um, being ready to go when we head down to Washington in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Brian Hoke, you can unmute. We can't hear you, Brian. It's not working for you, Brian. Let's go to Sweeney, Sweeney Murdy, if you can unmute. You got me? Yep. Hey, Aaron. Um, can you? I know you said you were going to do this, but can you just explain what some of the reasons were behind whatever defensive alignments you were trying? Yeah. So, 
we kind of decided to go just just to play it really safe with with the rain and then dumping obviously the the outfield just because it was a little wet and it was probably fine before the game even started in left and center field um, we just didn't real, really feel like we wanted them running around in, in, a, in a wet field. But right field was, was, was pretty dry. And, you know, we checked with Judgey before as far as when he was out there running and he wanted to give it a go. Um, so initially we were going to go probably three innings every other inning with our outfielders. Um, we were going four innings with the infielders. Um, so just a way of creati creatively trying to get them there at bats and stay in the game but also get them off their feet and build them up a little bit defensively. So um, we'll be creative here in those, these early days where you might see some different alignments, but the rain factored into that a little bit tonight. Marley, go ahead and unmute your next question. Um, hey, Aaron, can you hear me? Yes. I'm, a I'm asking the question for Hope because he's having a little trouble oh, okay. with his computer. So uh, Hope wanted to know the plan. Actually, I do too. The plan uh, for Garrett Cole tomorrow, please. Um. <clears throat> We'll see. He, he built up pretty good his first go around, um, you know, probably three, four innings, you know, probably anywhere from 50 to 60 pitches um, would kind of be the plan, but we'll also kind of take it inning by inning, but there's a potential that he could give us four tomorrow. 